Okay guys, so this is another Easter project. This is mainly focused on the real reason for Easter, which is Christ is no longer a dad, he has risen, and he loves us, and he is with us every single day. Even if we can't see him, just try to notice all the little things that he does for us, some of which is every morning we have a sunrise, and every evening we have a sunset. He paints that every day for you to remind you how much he loves you. So we're gonna get started and we're going to make this amazing drawing. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to make this tree part. So let's go ahead and make that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and make my tomb. and the hill in the background. I'm making it a little different than what I did before, but that's okay. And I always say to my students, it, you know, it's okay if your artwork doesn't look like mine because I do not look like you. God has made us all different on purpose. And that's a good thing because it'd be really boring if we're all the same. So if your artwork doesn't look like mine, that's fine. It's okay, don't get frustrated. Okay, I'm gonna make this way different than my other one. I really like sun rays coming out like this. I feel like it's, um, it looks really pretty. Again, if you wanna make it different, go for it. That's what it's about. It's just doing your own thing, making it different, making it yours. All right, so texture. Here we go, guys. We've talked about this before. I'm bringing in the texture for this tree. So I'm making these long lines, kind of just wobbling them next to each other. This is going to give the effect of a the bark on the tree, okay? This is obviously not something I can feel when I touch it. So it's called implied texture, which means you can't feel it, but you can see it. I don't know, I don't think I'm gonna bring over these branches. I'm gonna think about it for a little bit. I'm not sure I wanna do that, but maybe I will bring over one. So you're gonna bring over a line like this. See my line? I feel like it's getting really busy. Okay, and then you're gonna bring over another one up above it because this is our tomb line this is not part of our tree so i'm going to bring another one up above it coming out i think i'm going to go up like this and i'm going to bring that one in okay and then i'm going to come out and reach all the way to the end except instead of like making it one i'm going to come back in and then I'm gonna come back out and then back in. So it kind of looks like a little fork at the end, okay? Now, if you wanted to make it differently and make it just one or not make this at all, that's okay. Now we're gonna bring these texture lines back in because we need that bark look on our tree, okay? It looks so cool when you're bringing in all of this texture on your tree. I'm gonna kind of like try to blend this so it, see how it's not like, I feel like it's not coming into the tree very well. So that's why I'm kind of making it darker right there. Okay, so I don't know what kind of plant or tree this is, but I'm just gonna add, I think I'm just gonna add like these little lines here and make little leaves. Okay, so a line. And then you make a leaf going up and down, up and down, up and down, all the way until you get to the end. Do it again, up and down. Okay. Maybe another one coming out. I don't wanna to go too far into my crosses. And then you're gonna take away from the crosses. 
I might do one here too. So just kind of put them where you feel like, you know, there's some empty space and you might need some pretty leaves going on. And of course, if they ever like come over like your other lines and it's in front of, so like my sun rays obviously are not going straight through my leaves, but I don't have an eraser to erase it. I mean, a Sharpie, I can't erase that. So you would just kind of erase those lines right in here so that this, your tree parts would be in front of, overlapping in front of that, the sun rays, because the sun rays are in be behind your tree. Okay, so if you again want to add more, I mean, as you can see, it just kind of makes your picture kind of come alive. I kind of make them not straight lines. As you can see, I make them like, like a curvy kind of line. So it's kind of like blowing in the wind. I don't know. I feel like it looks really neat like that. All right. So for the tomb, I'm going to come down here. I'm going to come over. Then I'm going to bring it on up. This is something I've done with my middle schoolers, this drawing. And come on over this way. I'm going to make the boulder or the tomb, the door that they rolled in front of the tomb. I'm going to make the background of the ground in the, wall, in, in the tomb. And then I'm also going to come out and make the area that they laid his body on. Okay, so line down and over. Line down and over. And then come up and now come over. And of course it's empty now because he has risen. Now I'm making shading lines these are also called hatching lines. Cross hatching means you cross over it, but these are just hatching because I'm not gonna cross over them. Gonna make some shading lines on this as well. And then in here, cause it's kind of dark in there. And I'm gonna make some texture lines, giving some bumpy, rocky feel. So wiggle, 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 wiggle lines around, giving it rocky, 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 bouldery kind of feeling here. And more shading lines. Making this line a little bit thicker. More shading lines. Okay. Now you could go on to making more like rocky because it was a tomb. I believe that it was all just a big rocky tomb. So you could do that too up in here and do some shading. And it starts coming alive there. See how it's coming alive? Now this could be a drawing that you don't add color to. You could just leave it as a pencil drawing or even an ink drawing and just, you know, keep the shading and not add any color, but it's totally up to you how you want to do that. I'm going to add these little like pebbles. So you're going to go up and wiggle. Okay. Then come down and wiggle underneath up and down. And then wiggle underneath. This is making like little pebbles, a little ground line. Okay. 
Okay, there you go. I mean, I feel like this is looking really nice. I hope you're liking your drawing at home. I'm adding some more shading on that hill, on that mountain in the back. So you can tell it's not just floating in the air, like in the sky. Cause you know, I have the habit in the sun. So I'm gonna like, I think I'm gonna add like some darker color back there. If I were to color it, I would, you could tell better that it's on a hill. I'm gonna make a thicker line here too. Because when you just do it in one color, which is monochromatic, monochromatic, it kind of like starts blending together unless you really start adding shading and stuff in there. All right, guys, that's it. We got Jesus's tomb. He has risen. And then I wrote that right there. Um, you don't have to do that if you don't want to, but. I hope you have a wonderful Easter and I hope you enjoyed this video. See you later.